you've got your chart now what if you want to change the colors of any of these data points here you can see as I click on any of these it selects that group now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to change the color and also show you how you can add a picture to this as well so I've selected this group here you can see this series is selected I'm going to right click and choose format data series and up pops this dialog box down the bottom here off the screen is a close button I can click on fill I can choose to have a solid fill color and I can choose what color I want you can do it as a gradient where you get two colors and they go from one color to another and you can see the sort of effect there so you've got your start color and your end color just a little bit further down here and if I choose that I'm just going to hit close and you see it's changed the color there but what if I want pictures here you know sometimes you see like there's little pictures of people stacking up indicating how many uh, it's actually representing you can do that here too so I'm just going to right click it's going to choose my format data series I could have double clicked as well I'm going to hit fill and you see it's got picture or texture fill I'm going to choose that I can choose a texture and you'll see it's got all sorts of textures here I never use those I'm going to use this one here file it's got my logo jargon free help I'm going to choose that one but you may need to go and find an appropriate picture here don't get anything too big just get something a good size so I select it click on insert I'm going to leave it set to stretch for the moment I'm going to hit close and see what that's done and you can see it's created it there and it's stretching to fill that column if I right click and choose my format data series go back to fill if I choose stack what it will do is it'll make sure that the image stays the right aspect ratio so that it's correct and it will just basically fill as many in there as it can and if I do that you'll see it actually fills all of those okay I can again I'm just going to right click I'm going to choose format data series again go to fill and you'll see there's actually this stack and scale so that for every you can tell it however many units you want it to fill an amount of units so if I told it to do every say uh, 20 20 not 120 and if I do that you'll see that they stack there it is this picture now represents every 20 well, you'll see what will happen you'll see what will happen if I change that annoyingly it doesn't stay on that fill there if I change that to say I'm gonna be a bit drastic here I'm gonna go with 50 and just hit close and you'll see that it's stretching it and there you go each one of these represents 50 units so you can see this can be very useful to do and you can do the same for any of these other series just one thing to note I've selected this series here and you can see all the others are selected if I click on it again only this one is selected you can tell they're selected because they've got the little circles on them if I now right click format data series and fill I am now changing just one so if I change the fill color there for just that one to something oh let's choose that one again the orange and hit close you see it's just changed it for one so you can use it to highlight it so that is changing the formatting of data points and that would work for pie charts and also 3d columns as well in fact just really quickly just so you can see what this looks like I quite like doing this I'm just going to right click choose change chart type quickly go to 3d and that is the effect you get with images when you've got 3d on there which looks pretty good and it's got it on the top as well so that is changing the data points columns pie charts and bars as well and being able to add pictures in there too